funny stuff there from uh yeah i, I couldn't tell you either <laughs> i really don't know but we do have an interview lined up uh with assisted uh coming in obviously a wonderful performance although i'm not going to take first question neither are you doctor we're actually going to get one of our analysts to take the question mr dj hit him that's right assisted it's finally time we've been waiting for this interview for so long we've been talking behind the scenes so i gotta just ask you man how you feeling how you doing? Do you What's going on? Man, I just have to say, DJ, you're such a beautiful, handsome man. <laughs> you know, I had to, I was fighting my team for this interview, th the chance to speak to you, and I got it. And I, I thank you. I thank, I thank all the casters, the analysts. You know, this is a beautiful moment. Um, I'm feeling great. That first game, uh, it wasn't the result we wanted, but it was a, it was a banger. Um, <laughs> Game two, we, we got a little bit more what we wanted. They banned my Kaisa and I'm molding, but it's okay. Yeah, they banned, the, they banned the Kaisa instead of the Seraphine, and I was like, they're trolling. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. <laughs> I, I mean, you got any so, more questions for the guy, TJ? Yeah, sure. Well, finally happy to have you on the desk assistant. So we've seen you guys for six games now uh, on stream in the last two weeks. The, the first week was a little bit rough going up against Alistair and Palm Goat, but a lot better here. You look very comfortable on that Sivir pick. So is that something that's recently come to the play for you guys? And should we expect to see more of sort of the poke style, you know, can survive on their own bot lanes, allowing uh, your support Nelson to roam? Um, well, actually, Sivir's kind of a new pick for me. Or not new, it's, it's, ever since I started playing in Excellency, the first game I played, or second series I played was against uh, Alistair. And he absolutely reamed me on Sivir. So I was sitting there thinking, I'm like, maybe he's onto yes, he something did. here. And uh, mm -hmm. so I picked Sivir. Uh, and then I beat, I don't know what team we beat, but it was, it felt really good. So I like Sivir. Um, we're starting to try to get our, our support. We're trying to, give him opportunities to roam, especially with Derekos now. Um, we have a lot of ability to make plays around the map and, you know, leave me on my little island. So uh, I'm looking forward to that happening, and I'm looking forward to playing more Sivir. It's uh, really exciting. Try Kraken Slayer. It's really good. Uh, <laughs> they didn't They didn't have enough tanks this game. Uh, you can build all three, I think. It's She's the most broken AD carry. In. Really? Yeah, uh, yeah, that's a hot take. I, no, I, I, I do think you know they're on to something i think sivir is pretty strong um but yeah i mean obviously assisted you guys had a bit of a fiesta in game one uh did you actually think you won when the when the nexus exploded did you think it was your nexus for a second so um my eyes were actually closed the entire time um <laughs> i didn't want to look i saw that he was hitting the ne like our like projecti was hitting the the nexus pretty fast but I saw they had five people. I saw the shockwave from Slash Div, and that was, I crossed my fingers, closed my eyes, and I just, I couldn't look. And then they started screaming, so I started screaming because I assumed we won. And uh, <laughs> that was that. It's, it's uh, probably the most fun game I've played in comp. I mean, I, I kid you not, I've been, I've been casting for quite a while, and that was in beyond any, any sort of game that I've ever had the pleasure to cast. And, I'm pretty sure my vision went blurry at the end of that call because I kid you not, my chair was on the other side of the room. Like I was up and out of my chair. Like what in the world is going on? I was not watching uh, where I should have been watching. I was only watching uh, the Bucky's try to take the base because of course, right? That's what you want to witness. But um, after the end of game one, going into game two, you guys look so much more coordinated and then pushing into playoffs now, trying to get that last spot. Um, is it time to dig down and practice, or do you guys feel like you can just ride it out and get and get that final playoff spot? So right now we're just taking it game by game. Um, we have a relatively new roster. Uh, I'm newer, top laner's newer in our jungler we got last week. Um, so we're really just looking to, you know, you know, play each game as if it were, you know, just any other game. We're not trying to get too stressed out. This game was a little bit different. Um, because the first game we almost lost. And so the second game we were just like, we just have to, we just have to send a message here. We have to, mm. can't, you know, we're no pet and goats as a, uh, someone once said. And so, you know, we just had to win and we came out and won, but in the future, we're just gonna, you know, have fun. We're going to play our game 
Uh, and, you know, if we lose, it is what it is. If we win, you know, smile. But Yeah, I mean, pretty looking... well you're doing it. <laughs> yeah, we gotta look like TJ. You guys have a really <laughs> rough strength of schedule coming up as well. I'm just looking forward to the next weeks. I mean, next week you have to play both Akuma Glaives and Vlad Banners only are, you know, three and two team respectively. Uh, thankfully, you guys get a break after that. You get to play Blaze, who is also right around you guys in the standings. I know you said you're taking a game by game, but are you guys actually planning for a playoff event or are you guys literally game by game um so obviously i sat down with the some of the other players and we we mapped out our you know our road to playoffs um that's the first thing i did when i got here because we were i think ninth and i was like all right how can we how can we make it to playoffs is it you know do we need to is it something that we need to do like what exactly is the issue why are we ninth and so um, a lot of it's just like our um, coordination, you know, getting used to new players. But uh, we have been prepping a little bit, um, you know, mapping out which games we need to win, which ones we can, you know, take the loss and, you know, still make it to playoffs. But uh, Kyle's plays is definitely the, and that, that new age of the two that we need to win. Yeah, a treacherous road ahead to be sure for Orbital Chrome. But any final thoughts here to your fans? I mean, other than DJ, we obviously know there's some bromance going on. This is maybe a rivalry uh, to Juicebox Guy and Clonk. Maybe we got something new sparking up. It's past Valentine's Day, but hey, it's never too late to cuff a caster. Patrick's but... Day. True, true. Maybe date night on St. Patrick's Day. Maybe something going on there. But any final words to your fans outside of DJ, Mr. Assisted? Um, I don't think I have any others. Um, Alistair <laughs> has them all, including myself. So, um... <laughs> It's just DJ and I. We you know we're a we're a wolf pack. We stick together. Uh, Fair enough. So, if you I mean, want to be my fan, you know you can. But DJ you give me an assisted jersey, I'll wear it on stream. I'll take this TL jersey off right now, and I'll I put have, an assisted jersey. I have on. one, but uh, it's somewhere. But you can have it. I'll sign it for you. Ooh, wow. I could probably resell that for like at least $3, but thank you so much, <laughs> Mr. Assisted, uh, for the interview. DJ would be willing to pay high bucks for that, I know, but thank you again <laughs> so much. Wonderful set on the evening, and honestly, the best game we could have ever asked for in game number one. <laughs> what an animation, I mean. We're here production for has never been better. Indeed, content <laughs> as well, and a playoff spot maybe. Just as a <laughs> consolation prize, who knows? They fit into the Excellency brand so well. We're not here for leagues or games. We're here for the content. We're here for the memes. I'm here for DJ. Of course. <laughs> I'm here for you too, assisted. Ooh, thank you. Uh, thank there you. There's some weird vibes going on tonight. Back doors, <laughs> romances. I don't know. It's a full moon, but we got to wrap this show up quick. Thank you so much, assisted, for coming in once again. I wish you luck in the best of your games and go celebrate your 2 -0. Thank you.